really. No. <laughs> yeah. So speaking about Apple, what's happening with the whole EU saga and Apple Man, saying oh. no more PWAs and stuff? I don't get yeah, that. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's um uh so I think it was about three weeks already, or maybe four weeks already. Um, oh. The first beta versions of iOS 17.4 were coming out. Uh, of course, I also monitored that closely. And then I saw like, uh, I think it was from MISC, that, that, that guy, M-Y-S-K, uh, yeah. who is an independent researcher, also an iOS uh, developer. Great guy, by the way. I met him, well, of course, online only, but really nice guy. Um, mm -hmm. They did some research and then they found out that the uh, apps were breaking in, in the EU. And first, there was no response from Apple at all. People were pinging Jen Simmons and other people from the WebKit team like, you know, what the F is going on in here? And nobody replied. So uh, I also started testing. I downloaded the beta on my phone and I was like, what the, what's going on? You know, like uh, if you open, uh, if you open the PWA, then you would get a banner the first time, like a pop-up saying that like, okay, this web app uh, will now open in your default browser. So I opened it and then it would just open as a browser. And then if you would set another browser like Firefox to be your default browser, uh, it would open in Firefox, but still not as a PWA uh, anymore. Uh, yeah, of course, that's a big problem because your whole uh, app-like feeling is gone. The standalone mm -hmm. uh, display mode is gone. But it also means uh, on iOS still nowadays, push notifications are only enabled for installed web apps. So if yeah. you have a web app that's not installed, it means no push notifications, uh, no batching. There was also no isolated storage anymore and no persistent uh, storage. If you now store something in a cookie or in IndexedDB or whatever, and you don't interact with your uh, web app for seven days on iOS, uh, the data can be evicted. It will, everything will be thrown away. Wow. Uh, which is a problem, of course, if you have some local data uh, saved. But if you have like an installed web app, they are excluded from that. So then you can theoretically, you can, you know, save data indefinitely. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you cannot install it, that's also gone. So that was like a really big problem. Uh, Apple came, I think, one and a half week later, they finally came with a statement saying that they uh, had to disable um, installing to the home screen because of the DMA regulations. And their arguments were that uh, until now, all the uh, integrations, all the, the, the iOS level integrations that provide home screen installation to web apps uh, were all built on WebKit, on the WebKit security architecture, if you will. What that means is whenever you install a web app on, on uh, iOS, uh, that code uses uh, WebKit APIs to install it to your home screen. So now, as you know, or maybe if you don't know, all browsers on iOS are WebKit browsers. All browsers yeah. are obliged by Apple to use the uh, uh, to use the WebKit engine. So if you have like Chrome on on iOS, it's basically just Safari in a Chrome uh, skin. Wow. So that's why they could also use that same technology because it's all built on WebKit. But now in uh, in the EU, uh, they enable site loading, which means that you can also uh, install uh, apps uh, outside of the App Store. Plus, um, uh, web browsers will not be obliged anymore to use the WebKit engine, so they can now bring their own engines. But of course, the Chromium engine or, or the Blink engine now uh, does not have that integration with iOS to install a web app mm -hmm. to the home screen. It's, it's yeah. simply not there. Apple mm -hmm. didn't build it yet. And they said, well, then we have to build it, which is not practical because we have a lot of other stuff uh, to do. So, uh, and the DMA says that, you know, all browsers have to be equal. So uh, web apps are gone. Uh, if, if we can do it, then no other browser can do it. Yeah, wow. which of course is crap because of course they can build this. We we had the integrations uh, on, on, on Mac OS for years, uh, and of course they can uh, can build it, but yeah, of course they tried. Uh, the DMA responded, um, well, there, there, there is, uh, yeah, there could be so many more fines. So they got a lot of pushback uh, from that. The Open Web uh, Advocacy, uh, that's a nonprofit organization that helps all these legislators with providing them information and doing a lot of research, um, you know, to get a more level playing field. Yeah. They they send an open letter to uh, to Tim Cook, 
it was signed by almost 5,000 developers. So Apple backed off. And uh, yeah, so they re-enabled it, uh, uh, everything again, but there is still no integration for non-WebKit browsers like real, a real Chrome or a real Firefox to install uh, web apps on iOS. So that's still a problem. We still don't know what's going to happen uh, mm. because until now there are no uh, yeah, other real browsers on iOS yet. Apple made it really unattractive to do that. So we have to see. Uh, I think Google will, of course, build a real Chromium for iOS, but it remains to be seen uh, how that's going to work, how long it's going to take. Um, we also don't know, because I was thinking to myself, listen, if, a, if an installed, uh, uh, if, if you cannot install a, a web app through Chrome, because Chrome doesn't have the integrations uh, on iOS, and those integrations also meant like if, if a web app wants to use your camera, for example, or, or your GPS data, um, the uh, iOS takes care of showing you a banner, of course, like a permission uh, prompt. Um, but they said that's only in place for WebKit browsers. So my conclusion was is if this is not in place for non-WebKit browsers, then probably a real Chrome on iOS still won't have any access to stuff like that. Yeah. So it it will still be crippled like Safari is crippled nowadays because it's missing a lot of functionality. So we still don't know what, what what's going to happen uh, there. We we have to see. We have to see what the DMA it's, uh, is going to do. It's it's really a big unknown now. But of course, we are happy that, uh, yeah, that PWAs are back for now on uh, on iOS. But another thing they did last week is they revoked the developer license from the Epic Games company. Of course, you know, they've been uh, in, a, in, in a lot of trouble with <laughs> Epic, only to restore that developer license, like, I don't know, a couple of days later. So everybody's <laughs> like, what the hell is Apple doing? And, you know, they, they go back first, they disable PWAs, then they enable it again. Then they revoke Apple's or uh, Epic's uh, developer license. Then they restore it again. So... Yeah, we, we really don't know what is what is going on there. It's like they're in panic or something. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, so it still it... remains to be seen what, what's going to happen. But I think they will put up a hell of a fight. And this could take yeah a couple of years, I'm afraid. Yeah, but it's, yeah it's... We'll, we'll have to see. <laughs> 